We're back. They're back. It's with more detonator. Yeah, we're back. So soon. Yes. It's almost as if uh, <laughs> we were doing another vlog entirely. Were we? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. But it's good to be back, sir. Yes. Uh, <laughs> at ease. So, anyways, yeah, we recently watched a watched another movie that uh that we saw a lot more recently, and so it's a lot more fresh in our heads. Is yes, is Starship Trooper by Paul Verhoeven because I've always been kind of been meaning to watch this movie. But yes, this is the first time that we've seen it. First time I got to see it in its entirety because I saw bits and cl clips of it, but uh, not 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 the entirety of the. Movie. So, first impressions. What did you think of the movie? Well, it was definitely a, a satirical approach to. Uh, I think we were talking about the, the the wars that go on around the world. The the way the media can manipulate the things, military, military, the media, and uh, uh, there was oh, and a f and there was a few other things like uh, the the censorship. Oh, yeah, censorship. The censorship. Yes, that's true. Because uh, certain things in the media get censored, but then other things don't. In the movie, obviously, there is no censorship. But in the in the uh, the news clippings, there there are censorship, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they're trying to show over them. overall, <laughs> so so uh, you you would so you would say you'd kind of enjoy it, like maybe not the best, because we were talking about it earlier, and it kind of seems like uh, seems kind of light. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a. It has that B movie feel to it for sure, a little bit. Um, a big budget B movie. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess because of the the the, ar the lack of armor that they were supposed to ah, have there, there from, was, from there's, the books, right? There, there's a kind of a bit of a, a story behind that behind like the Starship Troopers series that I did read up on like before I saw the movie. Like out of interest is uh, is in the original story they were supposed to be wearing power armor, like say in the Fallout games. To uh, fight the bugs and not the armor that always get ripped to ripped shred to whenever they get get attacked, and it's like, why the fuck do you even wear it in, <laughs> at all if it just you know it doesn't really protect you? Because yeah, it seems kind of like dead weight to me. I guess it's to protect them from shooting each other, perhaps. Because uh, yeah. there was that thing where um, where Johnny Rico removed one of his one of the uh, teammates like helmet and he got blot blasted yeah, got in the head. Away, so yeah. per perhaps maybe it's not the armor for the bugs, but for the soldiers. So. Yeah. Is when they're shooting, it's like, don't worry, just keep shooting, and you'll hit the bugs and not so much the guys. I think it was also trying to point to the fact that they didn't know what they were up against. Um, a lot of people, even in like when they go to war, maybe they underestimate their their enemy, which and, is the case in which uh, is the this case movie. in this film as well. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's it's going back to the the B movies. Like those, there was movies where like insects came to like you know try to take over the world. Or, you know, um, some sort of invasion infection. Inva kind of like a horror movie. Yeah. I mean, Aliens uh, was probably a, a great inspiration for this film, I would say. But this is definitely more of a parody than than Aliens was. Um, although, but would you say it was an enjoyable parody? Cause... Yeah. I mean, even Aliens was, was, was also, you know, poking fun at things like... Uh, there's one character who, like, he's all, like, you know, badass at the beginning. Then when, when he's getting involved with the aliens, he gets, like, all scared. Well, you know, it's the same with these guys. They just get thrown into the mix, and a lot of them aren't ready for it, and they want to run away, you know. Yeah, uh, well, uh, for my first time seeing Starship Trooper in its entirety, I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I liked it. It was, it. it was fun to watch, and then there are, are quite a bit of, like, subtleties in it, too, that are fun if you think and talk through about it, because uh, the yeah. sequels to these movies, uh, like, the... The, the directors or whoever didn't understand the like uh, what Paul Verhoeven did and like why the movie why this the original Starship Trooper movie works so well mm -hmm. and it was just like it was missing those subtle messages and satire of military because it was just like hey shooting bugs is fun <laughs> that'll make for a good movie I haven't actually seen it but I don't really from what people have told me or I've seen comments about uh, I don't think I would want to watch it unlike say Robocop Two and three, which uh, is also by Paul Verhoeven. Yeah, and uh, the music composer for this film was also in, involved with RoboCop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Every time I, I get the, yeah. every time I, I expect the dun 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 <laughs> dun. It was almost, dun, dun, dun. almost the very, same. Similar. very similar. Yeah. I would have liked to see like a robot, like they like, constructed an android to help fight with the machines too. Yeah, I was hoping you know that part where they they show the guy's hand, like uh, it's been obviously 
you removed. know removed so it has like an armor i was hoping that you know peter weller would have been asked to be in this film because uh, paul verhoeven did ask some of his previous cast members to be in this movie so i thought oh been... why did you mention the previous cast members that were that you've seen in here and other movies like say um, total recall <laughs> there were two characters so, you brought up uh rascal was his name rascal uh he is played by michael ironside who was also uh richter in total recall it was here at the party, Richter. Yes, the guy who loses his his, uh, his arms. And in this and in this movie, <laughs> he loses his legs. Yes, I guess. Kind of I guess that was like inside joke by Paul Verhoeven. You think so? Because well, it's, it's kind of yeah. like I think it's just we're overthinking, and it's just kind of oh hey, that's funny. He loses his arm in Total Recall. He loses his legs. No, and, uh, I'm pretty sure he did it for that reason. He technically sure. lost his yeah, his, his, his uh, left arm. I think, <laughs> I think it would have been funnier if if he started the movie with no arms and then he had no legs at the end of it. But I guess that would have been too too cruel. So Paul Verhoeven. Let him keep one arm at the beginning instead of having uh, to deal with. Or and of gave him a to... mechanical arm. <laughs> yeah, mechanical arm. Gene Rascal was his name, and Gene then the other Rascal. character that was also from Total Recall. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, the, or the actor's name, but he played um, the man who was carrying Coado, which is the psychic uh, alien entity that's in his chest in the Total Recall movie. So he's also in this film. He doesn't have a long. Uh, he doesn't live long. Long scene, but yeah, he is in this film, which was kind of cool. So I think, in retrospect, if Peter Welder Marshall Bell, okay, was it was it Marshall Bell? It's possible, yeah. Because I because I, I have high IMDb open, so all that <laughs> if you see me going, um, yeah. actually, you're probably just only listening to this, but I'm I'm checking IMDb just a bit in the meantime too. Yeah. So, but, but Paul Verhoeven's always like to give, or actually not just Paul Verhoeven, but other directors like to give. Uh, you know, certain actors and other chances, especially if they got along with them and everything. So yeah, and I think uh, those are usually the fun things. It's like, yeah. oh, what role is he gonna play? At at one point, I expected Rodney Cox to yeah. pop up during that the embassy, embassy when uh, they were talking about like, oh, what should we do about the bugs and stuff? So why don't we talk about the story since we've uh, kind of getting going on about well, it? The so the story. I mean, it kind of felt like, I think you said, like a, like a oh, well, Saved by the Bell at the beginning, like a type of... Okay, uh, well, the, the story to this movie <laughs> is that in this universe, uh, humankind has been going all over the galaxy, and then there's this one galaxy, uh, uh, Katrina, or not Katrina. It yeah, was like, Kat- oh, hold on. It's sort of Planet K. Yeah, like, let's see if this is in here. Oh, I'll, I'll keep continuing on. There's this <laughs> planet where there are bugs existing that uh, oh, live on these... Hmm? Klindathu. 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 Klindathu, yeah. However you say, I forget. <laughs> I forget. But they come, the bugs come from that planet, and they in, inhabit these. Uh, I forget. I kind of forget because I got confused somewhere in the movie. Uh, did the bugs live in the asteroids? And when the asteroids crashed yeah. into other yeah, planets, then they was, started yeah. invading. Yeah. Because then there was that one asteroid that got sent flying, and it was like uh, it had no bugs on it. I thought Earth was kind of fucked there. Yeah. So I, I got confused there, but so yeah, basically the bugs are bad, and human fights against the bugs. And uh, this movie has a lot of commercial to, like, join up, like, Uncle Sam wants you. Yeah, it was not like, uh, Total, actually, Robocop, sorry, not Total Recall. Yeah, Robocop. Actually, Total Recall did have some commercials, too. Uh, I think Paul Rowan, that's, like, a, re- a recurring theme in a lot of his films. He likes to have those type of, uh, yeah, kind of breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah this one broke at, the, broke at yeah. the most, or, like, more often than Robocop, because it's like, you want to know more? Click here. Yeah, and, I kept saying that. <laughs> and like, uh, join now. And then the thing with the censorship, the news, and like uh, these, what's it called during the war when the when they're like trying to show messages to be like, oh, be against this, be against that. Um, not. I could think of propaganda. Yeah, propaganda. Like no. the kids stomping on all the cockroaches and the bug <laughs> and, the, and the mom or whatever. It's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. And it's yeah. like, it's like, do your part, right? Do your part. Step squash the bugs. <laughs> squash the bugs. Then the thing with the censorship where it's like a, they had a cow get killed by the bug, but it was censored. But then they show like these people that went to Planet K because they ignored the Federation warning and they're all killed and you see bodies everywhere. It's like... There was a satire there like I read somewhere and I was like, oh, and always has that's to kind be, of interesting. It always has to be a cow, doesn't it? Even in a Jurassic Park, the raptors have their way with the cow as well. For the, that's oh, the, yeah. That's the way they eat their meat, I think, right? They like it tender. Yeah, they like the tender. And uh, what was it? Not well done, uh, raw. Yeah. Uh, what else can we see? Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> planet bugs bad and stuff, and then they're trying to recruit. And we follow this, our main character, Johnny Rico, who, uh, who's kind of naive, I'd say. Like, he doesn't know much about the world. Yeah, he's the type of guy who... who... 
Well, I mean, he listens to his teacher. He does things by the books, but ra- doesn't ra- understand rather... them. Yeah, so he listened to his teacher rather than his parents, I guess, right? In this case, right? Because his parents didn't want him to go. Well, no, his teacher didn't tell him to go. He was kind of like trying to discourage them, as he said. Like, oh, yeah, true. Uh, like, oh, you, well, you shouldn't do this stuff. But the the love interest with Carmen is what kind of. Yeah, that's why he went. He yeah. wanted to join the the yeah. the, the Federation because his uh, girlfriend was gonna go go out and he's like oh i'm gonna follow her and we're gonna have an awesome life together and so forth and so he did it for that and then they kind of not have to go their separate ways for a while at, there at some point and uh and the characters uh change and yeah. grow up because there was this question that uh that gene rat rascal uh asked the uh, johnny earlier like what's the difference between a citizen and the civilian? civilian and uh johnny said something textbook like like a civilian gets the vote or no, a citizen gets the vote yeah. and have responsibilities, but a civilian, no, uh, doesn't. And then Rasko's <laughs> like, uh, oh, wow, how very textbook. But but by the end, he said something a lot more meaningful about... Yeah, because at one uh, point he didn't really know the true meaning until he experienced all those battles. Yeah, and we'll, battles. And we'll save that because uh, it's kind of a nice uh, gr- little growth for him. Yeah. So the first half hour or so, or so like 45 minutes or something, it's like... You see, like, just kind of, like, the nice, mellow high school life where yeah, it's like all, everything's nice. kind of thing, right? Dancing, oh, yeah. no no, tr- no trauma, no nothing. Life's all good. <laughs> and when they join the military, it's going to be great for well, uh, citizenship. I think one thing we should mention is uh, they do a little setup of, the, like, they show the humans facing each other in that football game. Oh, so there's a kind of battle going on there, and then it's going to contrast with the battle they're going to have with the bugs. So I think they were, and they're trying to show the rivalries that were there with between uh, uh, Rico and I'm sure the other guys, Xander, I think Xander. Yeah, 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 Xander. So they're trying to show there's a rivalry, there's a love triangle going on, and they, that carries on to the other planet that they're going to be going to. Although it kind of uh, gets a little dismissed near the end of it, I felt like kind of died down yeah. by that point. Yeah, but literally true. one of them died. <laughs> down. Oh, one of them died. <laughs> no surprise. Yeah. Yeah, so for for the first like forty five minutes or so, just all pieced, all like, uh, what's an, what's the, what's the opposite of pessimistic, optimistic, optimistic view of uh, yeah. life? And then once the enlisting happens, then they go train. Oh, it's tough, and then uh, something happens where a meteor hits Earth. Yeah, uh, hits Buenos Aires. Yeah, Buenos Aires. Aires, and yeah. then uh, oh, it's time to go to war. And then in war, lots of people die. Yeah, because initially, uh, Rico actually wanted to go back home, but then... Well, he wanted to join the military because uh, Karma... or Car- Carmen or Karma? Carmen, Carmen. Carmen was going through, so it's like, oh, I'll follow my girlfriend into it, and then it's going to be awesome. But, then, but it's not really his decision. He's kind of being led to yeah, going into it. He found out that they were going to be... I mean, it was, it They're going to be separate, out. and it was going to work out, and so he's like, you know what? This is not for me. I should have listened to my parents. About to go home, bam. Actually, wait, something else happened, too. Uh, he... Oh, yeah, he also got one of his teammates killed yeah, and, uh, he took his in training. <laughs> so that also spooked him. So, yeah. yeah, and uh, people questioned him, and they lo- and the, the the training site lost some recruits because uh, of his action, because it was like, oh, this guy, I don't think I can trust my life with him. But uh, Rico, Rico, like, uh, the... the the advice, not the advisor, the, the colonels and whatever were like, yeah. oh, this guy has potential to be really good. So they want to keep him. So they give him like a, a, a whip lashing, literally. Like a very Jesus like <laughs> thing. Yeah, like 10 whips. Which is not that. B- well, it's bad, but yeah. not that bad. Uh, but... So, so yeah, after that, Johnny was reconsiders. It's like, you know, my parents were probably, probably right because they were really against him joining the military because it's like, people die there. Oh, uh, but then they ended up dying from a meteor that gets crashed into earth because um they said it was because of the bugs fault and i'm like hmm i I can't say either way so you think they were kind of constructing the making excuses for it because i expected when that meteor crashed the bugs would come out and invade earth or something but because they said like in that astro field each meteorite had like a pot of bugs that would invade so i was like oh if that was the case then yeah war times but it's like no it wasn't so they and they were just so the Maybe that's another satire in the media, like uh, oh, meteor comes striking from space. It's we, yeah, it's not the bugs, maybe. but it might be. So we're gonna say go, go kill them. Well, they were definitely blowing things out of proportion when they were showing the, 
killed in action. The chaos. Yeah, the amount of people that were dying and things like that. Yeah, Johnny Rico, quote unquote, died. I don't even know how he survived because. Uh... Yeah, he survived. They put him in like some kind oh, of. Oh wait, uh... oh wait, they did. Um, they did say he got saved by the, rough, oh, yeah, yeah. the roughnecks. Yeah, true. Quote unquote, you didn't actually see it, but it's it was implied. Yeah. So yeah, um, <laughs> so they all go to war and then get on the planet, and things don't turn out well. No. Oh. And, and things just got out of hands, and eventually, because uh, it's like, oh, the bugs are acting really smart, so now we got to find out why that is. And towards the end, you find out why that that reason is, which uh, we won't spoil. We won't spoil if you're curious, if you um want to see what the end result is. Uh, well, well, without spoiling it, what did you think of the end result of the conclusion? Uh, I mean, it very was... B movie like. Yeah, I mean, they don't really set it up. I mean, they, they do make it seem like they're still going to be... It's going to be an ongoing war. It's definitely not finished. Um, but they they did make a big step in, in trying to figure out what, what they're up against. So that's all we can say. I like, guess, the war didn't, like, the war didn't end when the movie ended because no. they're still uh, trying to find ways. But it's just yeah. like like this, 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 uh, this war that they just went through gave them an advantage for a future war and that probably saved all of humanity but yeah so one part of the movie was just like all all um all positive and not and very naive uh life that they go through and then the other half is like the harshness of the universe uh and and all the trials they must go through to to i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> well to i guess achieve their citizenship well, yeah citizenship. to prove themselves and which, to grow which, which we kind of laughed about because like that's not how it works yeah generally mentioned. everybody is considered a citizen when they either were born here or they sign up for the citizenship so it's kind of weird that in this film you have to earn it and in, in a way it's, but would, in the context of the yeah. of the movie it kind of made sense yeah <laughs> I'm just, but, but uh but yeah the overall story like yeah, I, I I agree. It's it, it's quite B movie like it like it like it didn't escalate in the middle, but then it kind of didn't escalate afterwards because it was just kind of like uh, beginning. It was a slow start, then it got in the middle. And it's like oh, action stuff is happening. This is cool. There was still you know the the ongoing love triangle, which uh, I mean Diz was always trying to get with. Oh, this character R- called R- Diz. Rico, uh, and eventually they do. Um, so and oh yeah, lots of people. Lots of people that Rico knows uh, dies. Yeah. Some for stupid. Well, actually, are they mostly stupid reason? Because like there was that Japanese yeah. guy that just ran and was like, "Hey, I'll take you all on." And, yeah, <laughs> and it was like, "Well, he was gonna die." Yeah, you, they, you knew that. They either got overly courageous or just bad luck. Because yeah. like it's just or they turned their back, and you don't. That one, that one was really yeah. dumb. I found because <laughs> it's like nobody was watching when that bug like the the, the bug just hide off screen. And there's like, "Hey, buddy." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in that moment, I guess her action was rather dis- dysfunctional. Yeah, I had to say that was a bad pun. But... Oh god! <laughs> oh, dysfunctional. God damn it! <laughs> but uh, other thing we could say is, did you find it funny that these uh, bugs, when they were sending out their uh, blasts or whatever they? Oh, wait, the ass bugs? Yeah, they were farting it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. It or, was it was it was interesting because it was. Or, or they try to imply there like they they. The force that they were, you know, busting about was like so ast- I, I, astronomical. Or <laughs> I don't know. Oh wow! No, I I kind of view it as kind of like a like a sci-fi idea. Like, a, how do we have like something organic, sh- like that's not like a cannon or a machinery that shoots I guess, I guess. that shoots like pulse sh- plasma in the space? Shooting, it's you just like a. It <laughs> right. oh, that, well, we know who got the sh- uh, shit end of it, but yeah. yeah. I, it was kind of like a cool idea, like an organic cannon, because there yeah. was also that flamethrower bug that. Uh, yeah, that's true. Which that that scene was kind of got kind of weird when Rico jumped on and just like was standing there as the bug was spinning around. Yeah, was and stuff. And I was on. like, how did he hang on there? <laughs> that, that kind of like I was like questionable. I know what his plan was, it just didn't work that well. Heck, Diz's plan was much better. I, Chuck <laughs> grenade into its mouth. I guess you could say Rico is a character who's just nerfed in every way. He. Uh... Maybe he played with Nerf footballs. I don't know, but he just seemed like he had like way way too much uh, advantage over things, like the way he would you know do flips and all these weird acrobatic stunts. And 
Well, it could be though that that's what they teach in their educational system in that universe. I don't, I don't know. They don't. It's just like like John or Johnny just knows how to do that stuff. I guess the hero's supposed to be like kind of like he's the main character, like an extraordinary individual. Yeah, yeah. Although because he he, he managed to survive, right? he managed to become colonel in like a relatively short amount of time from what we've uh, been seeing. Yeah. And, but they're also trying to point out he's not perfect. I mean, humans aren't perfect. He's terrible at math, but, I mean, he's good at other things. So I Yeah, think... I was saying he wasn't a very calculating person, but, yeah. hey, well, he kind of is. The movie's just trying to maybe point out that, you know... Everybody, Everyone is special. Everybody's even... good in their own way at something. I think that's what I was trying to say. Right? Perhaps. So. Like, you had the, uh, the comic relief guy, Levy... Who uh, I kept saying he looks like I was like who is this guy, and then <laughs> apparently Gary Busey's son. So maybe Gary Busey was too busy to be in the movie, but this, his son was. Like there was something about his teeth <laughs> that was like you were, and I was like uh, you were like oh I, I wonder is he Gary Busey's son? I look it up, it's like oh it's Gary Busey's son. Yeah, and he had a violin. I guess he's trying to show that he's he's talented in that way. But I was hoping I know that'd be pretty cheesy, but I was hoping that like. One of the soldiers would, you know, when they when they died, he would do the. But that'd be that'd probably be that'd too, be too much. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Oh yeah, then there's the then there's yeah. the cameraman who was just like, oh yeah, when kept... they're retreating, there he's like, I'm just gonna keep filming, and then oh get surprise, he dies. Yeah, that was Paul Verhoeven's. I think, you know, he's he's poking fun at the media, like, they'll, like no the... matter what, they're gonna they're gonna try to capture the moment, and if they're gonna die, they'll, so be it. They're just gonna capture that moment. <laughs> oh, let's see so I guess it's live for the live for the moment, die for the moment in that sense. But yeah, what was it? Uh... What else can we point out? Hmm. We were talking about the characters, and, and, and yeah, you know, I was talking about how I did. Did I say how Vault Paul Verhoeven doesn't care if someone dies? When they die, they just die. Because there was also the thing, like uh, there was there was also the nudity in this movie, where it's like, uh, oh, who cares? Because you mentioned something to me. I was talking about the about the like what the censorship sh- censorship of the showing the kids stuff. Because I remember back in history class, like uh, my history teacher told me, like when they were showing a Starship Trooper to the kids. Decapitation everywhere, a okay. Nudity, sex and nudity. Oh no. fuck no! Well, <laughs> fast forward. But apparently, it's different in uh, Europe, which is kind of funny because in Europe, it's the opposite. Uh, violence is 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 highly censored, like in those those news ads in this film, or sorry, commercial ads, I should say. Um, but in uh, in Europe, nudity is fine. No no questions about nudity. They'll even show it to teenagers. It's fine. But, uh, uh, I think in Asia, I think in Asia, I think in Asia, they also don't care. They don't mind the nudity yeah, right. that much yeah, it's not either, as bad, too. Especially in like Japan, yeah. Like so. obviously, if it's explicit nudity, then you know there's the whole censoring part of it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, because because uh, I was also talking because that that brought something up. It's like, uh, well, what can what can you and what should you show to a kid? And it's like, yeah, I wouldn't show I wouldn't show like a kid like something sexual because uh, that. They shouldn't be exposed to it, exposed that, to that, that yeah. early. Um, nudity, mm, I, w- <laughs> I would be if and on about it because if you keep hiding that stuff from them, they'll be like, "Ooh, it's special," and then you know, you know, they make a big deal out of it. So when you know when they're shown violence and they're like, "Eh," they become desensitized. Pretty yeah, much. That, that, yeah, that pretty much that's and the this, thing. I mean, this film's very over the top in in terms of its you know gore. gore so yeah, it's, it is pretty desensitized. I would say. Um, I mean, like with RoboCop. That one is it. I think it tried to be a bit more. Uh, it was still over the top, obviously, Robocop, but but it, it was more impactful. Yeah, like the way that you know that uh, the Murphy, Murphy death scene. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. That was pretty. Like compared scene. to this one, this one seems kind of. Yeah, they just kill them and you know, whatever. Kinda it's just thing, that's but... kind of thing. Things things get uh, killed and such. I mean, there was one scene near the end where maybe they they did show a little bit more, but uh, but yeah, usually the deaths were pretty quick in this film. Yeah. Uh, they're just forgotten afterwards yeah so uh so we talked about the story we talked about uh the, the music composer yep. of it which because uh, the robocop like theme is the only thing i can really remember <laughs> from it did and, anything bug you about this movie very fun <laughs> well oh yeah the the thing with Johnny Rico on the bug and then the armor, because yeah, I was, I kept like, ha- I, I kept harping on it. I was like, these guys, they're coming with magazine guns, but they have no pouches on their armor. Like they, they, they do, but it's very small. And I'm like, you're going to war and you're only carrying this much. No, I, and I said, it was like, it was probably for budget constraints, which is also funny. Cause I was telling you how in power Rangers, they reuse the armor from <laughs> Starship Trooper. That's where I saw that's, I saw first, that 
the armor in that first before Starship Trooper, but I knew it was from Starship Trooper. So they recycled it. They literally did, and they also recycled it in uh, Firefly, too. So it was kind of very interesting and very cheap. Well, I guess they're promoting, you know, helping out the environment by recycling. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. They, I mean, they use stock footage and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's also funny because Power Ranger Lost Galaxy also had a theme of fighting bugs, mm. too. So it was kind of like very... <laughs> It, it felt very Starship Trooper inspired. Yeah. There was even like one episode where it was kind of like a horror themed episode. And there was like literally no Power Rangers for like the entire episode. <laughs> which was, uh, that episode actually was kind of cool to me. Oh, but nice. uh, yeah, what do you think about the uh, the bug effects and such? And, the, you know, space effects and all uh, that? I mean, I, I really like the, um, I thought the effects for the, the brain bug was pretty good. Or they were pretty good, sorry. I thought that was... Spoiler. Well, not really. Like I did. I mean, <laughs> no. Just keep going. Yeah, but I mean, every every movie is gonna have a, some sort of intelligence. Yeah, or it's gonna have like, you know, like Aliens had the Queen. So this film had its own variation on that or on take. Technically, on that, that the, yeah. the brain bug would technically be the Queen yeah. because it's control. It's like the Hive Queen. Yeah. So the special effects for that were pretty cool. Um, I think generally the, the the effects blended in well, like as you said. Uh, well, like with the exception of maybe the fire bug, yeah. like that one was the most obvious like yeah. CG. At times, thing. it felt like almost like we were watching a video game. <laughs> so. Yeah, when we saw the behind the scene thing, yeah. it was the f it was probably it was unintentionally funny. Would you say this film might, might have inspired you know games like Halo even? Mm, no, because the whole so space much. scene thing has already been done. Yeah. Well, maybe the flood, like enemy inspired, maybe the flood, but overall, no, not really. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, no, no. Actually, uh, the armor in Halo is kind of similar to like the Starship Trooper armor too, because they got the helmet and the, just the body armor and yeah. no pouches for some reason. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought, yeah, I I thought the bug effects were quite good. I had the space the the space effects were also really good. It looked like Star Wars at certain points. Uh, but yeah, the the only one that looked really bad was the fire bug because it's just like. You can tell that the bugs, when like the thousand of colonies like going around, like it had to be CG, but it blended in quite well. It was believable, but when the firebug came up, it's like it's so CG. <laughs> Especially when it like ate the grenade, and it was like, oh. <laughs> and it was like, whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else I could say that bugged me about this film. Um, I mean, at times it felt. Oh yeah, and I like the action. Yeah, I think initially it felt like it was missing. I don't know. There wasn't really like a heart to it at the beginning, and then like later on, I guess there's more character development. Yeah, like they grew um, as people because like yeah. uh, Johnny keeps seeing people die, and then he has to grow as a character to be better. Yeah, and who was the guy who was trying to uh, learn like psychic mind control? Yeah, mind control or psychic? What was the character's name again? Oh crap! I forget it. And what's the uh, Zan? No, no, not Xander. Uh, I think his real name like Neil Neil Patrick Harris was it? Oh. Yeah, Neil Neil Patrick Harris. I don't know what the character was though his name, but uh, it's kind of funny because he started off in oh Carl Carl yeah he started off in in uh, in the TV realm as uh, Doogie Howser, which is like this is uh, I guess intelligent yeah young boy who was already a doctor at the age of I don't know seven or eight or something. <laughs> so he's like the world's youngest doctor. So then they put him. I guess that's why they took him in this film as a smart, another smart character. It kind of worked yeah. out. Yeah. Kind of like the smart guy. Yeah. Um, mm, anything else you can think of to say about it? Because I had my facts, <laughs> my facts about it. The like with the Power Rangers and the and like the the, the Japanese not or the Japanese anime of it. Actually, no, no, I didn't talk about that. Like I'll just say it briefly. Uh, that one had the power armor in it. Uh, I didn't see much of it. I only saw a clip of it, but it was supposed to be more faithful to the adaption of the faithful adaption of the novel. So yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there's also. Did we mention like the? Se oh yeah, yeah, we did mention the sequel. There's also like a 3D, a 3D animation or film of it with the power armor too. So, but I but never never saw it. Okay. Well, I think we. Squashed, got we got all we got all the bugs out as much out of this film as we could have. I don't know what else we could discuss. Well, but. I guess that just means would you recommend it? Um, uh, you know, or what? would you tell them to bug off? 
<laughs> if you're into like B movies and satires of that of that kind, I, I'd say re- I'd recommend it. And um, if you're a Paul Verhoeven fan, and you're a Paul Verhoeven fan, you know what to expect. He's always going to be very over the top of those films and uh, breaking the fourth wall and such. So yeah, if you if you're a fan of those and you like uh, Basil Polidaris's soundtrack or score i should say yeah, i think you'll like it yeah uh, I, just just I don't like come in with high expectations like don't don't come in thinking it's gonna be like a serious movie and you should be okay like don't think it's gonna be like aliens or yeah, aliens. Don't, uh, it's it's not it's not yeah. grand i'll say that like yeah. uh and it and it knows that it's not trying to be grand you know <laughs> so. oh so let's see well yeah i would definitely recommend definitely watching it uh like I, I bought a bunch of Paul Verhoeven movies when we were at HMV that one time. Wait, BMV? Uh, BMV, BMV yeah. yeah. And it was like get a bunch of Paul Verhoeven movies because RoboCop. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this film I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out at least once. It's a pretty fun B movie to watch. It's got good action and uh, some pretty cool scenes. Because I mentioned to you, I kept watching that scene where they were defending the fort as they were being overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. So. But if if your stomach easily turns, maybe not. Uh, maybe the, per, maybe perhaps. The film I mean, will if you're kind of you. if you're kind of weak to this <laughs> stuff, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with using that word. Uh, yeah, but like uh, the thing it says on the cover, it's a gun ho sci-fi. Well, maybe not epic, but definitely gun ho sci-fi. Um, I like how, I like how they would dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I think. It's, it's like, like you forgot what to say. Uh, epic what? Epic uh, movie? Epic, or... <laughs> no, or maybe epic variety. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. I never seen that. There's a comment that it just says "gung ho sci fi epic dot dot dot." It doesn't even say like what, what epic what like, right? Epic. Oh, uh... <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> I gotta say that, that's that's a pretty epic uh, Do- description uh, of a movie, right? Or tagline. Yeah. But yeah, over. All in all, I recommend watching the movie. It, it's it's fun to watch, especially once in a while. Uh, would you ever watch it again? Uh, personally, I think this watching it once was was enough for me. Um, I kind of agree. I mean, yeah. if, if I was to wa- rewatch it, I'd probably watch the scene when they were all recruited because I I would not watch the Saved by the <laughs> Bell scenes and the, when they were in high school and stuff because that stuff was just like yeah. <laughs> kind of like with Deadpool, like like uh, you don't want to watch the origin story anymore. You just want to watch all the Move Deadpool on. parts. Like if you were to rewatch that, yeah. so yeah, I would rewatch it for for the action scenes because the action's fun and just uh, it's cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Starship Troopers, check it out and bug out. <laughs> It's Wilbur D. Tastinator! It's Wilbur D. Tastinator! It's Wilbur D. Tastinator!